Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of our Ring of Honor roster here in the Universe Mode series. Now, I'll we'll start this video by saying there's no Universe Mode footage in this video. This is just going to be the Television Championship Tournament for our Ring of Honor roster. Uh, of course, we'll be uploading the Universe Mode as of next week, so we should be getting some uh, some Ring of Honor on, I think it'll be next Thursday, I think I've got a plumbed in for. So, uh, yeah, keep an eye on this channel if that's what you're looking for. Uh, but yes, we'll quick look at the brackets we've got set here for you. We're going to have Jay Lethal versus Matt Seidel, Tommaso Ciampa versus Rhino, Mike Bennett versus Kenny Omega, and Matt Hardy versus Austin Aries. So who will be our first Ring of Honor television champion? We're going to find out. And here we go with our opening match of round number one. It's Jay Lethal versus Matt Seidel. I have downloaded a different Jay Lethal. I'm still not overly sure on it, but I think it looks a little bit better than the other one. But let's see how it acts in the ring. And, of course, we've got Matt Seidel there as well. And here we go. Jay Lethal and Reborn, Matt Seidel. Of course, Lethal and Austin Aries were both involved in the Ring of Honor Championship tournament as well. So, they're, uh, they're no strangers to these tournaments. And uh, let's see how they get on. Matt Seidel, first time we've seen him so far. Of course, Seidel will be working for Global Force Wrestling alongside Ring of Honor. As a lot of people will, it's going to be uh, two very similar rosters, I should imagine. But they both have a few individual guys that will work just for them rather than the other. Big suplex there by Matt Seidel. Rolling Jay Lethal over. And there is a knee to the face by Seidel on Lethal. Back over by Lethal. And there's that reverse sort of head basher, thing facer. I don't know. I don't know. It's a face buster when you do it forwards. A reverse head buster, whatever you call it. I don't know. Oh, it's really a little bit fun, actually, before we start this competition. Why don't we all have a guess of who we think is going to win the overall tournament? I'm going to guess on Jay Lethal. That's what my guess is going to be. Probably, uh... Although I'm going to guess on Jay Lethal... No, no, I'm... I don't know. I'm going to actually go for somebody else. I'm going to go for Tommaso Ciampa, actually. Tommaso Ciampa is my guess for this one. That's only because um, Jay Lethal and Mike Bennett, which are the two more uh, probably well-known television champions in Ring of Honor, they both held the belt for quite a while each in our universe mode in 2K15. So, again, I'm just looking for something a little bit different this year. So I'd like to see somebody different like, uh, like Tommaso Ciampa pick up the belt. Of course, Matt Seidel will also be involved in the Global Force Wrestling New Gen Championship Tournament, yeah, which should hopefully be uploaded tomorrow as well, I think. So keep an eye out for that one. It'll be very interesting. In for the ping goes Matt Seidel. One, two. It's only a two count. Both guys back up to their feet. Seidel with a kick to the back of Jay Lethal. Bringing Jay Lethal back up to his feet once again. So down now launching Lethal into the corner. Went to follow up with a couple of knees, but Lethal moved out the way and Matt Seidel, that must be very, very painful. Both his knees smashed into the uh, into the turnbuckle there. So down now sending Lethal into the corner and follows up with that running clothesline. Sidell bringing Lethal back up. There's a big punch to something there by Lethal. And now there's the snap there as well. Lethal locking in a headlock. Just slowing the whole pace of the match down. It's probably a wise thing for Lethal to do. He knows how dangerous... He knows how dangerous that, uh, that Matt Sidell can be. hear me clicking that's because I'm uh, as I said earlier on a few of my other videos it takes a long time to get all of these all of these um, videos recorded uploaded and edited so I'm actually having to try and edit videos at the same time as recording them there's the crunchy there by Sido we can't see the referee but I'm going to assume that was a two count 
It was. You guys can probably hear because I think you guys have got the uh, I've got the game volume on these days, so that's a bit better for you guys. But I can't. I've got my TV on mute, so I can't. Uh, so basically, you don't hear the sound twice because I think the sound comes through my TV a couple of seconds before it actually records, which is why I can't listen to myself on headphones as well while I'm doing it, just because I I tend to bugger it up. <laughs> Talking over myself. Joe Leaf with a pin. Two. It's only a two count. So yeah, I am trying to uh, edit at the same time as uh, as recording. It's 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 not too bad. Just looking at two screens at the same time. Great drop kick there by Jay Leaf on a big boot to the face of Matt Seidel as well. Yeah, it's not too bad, but I'm having to keep my eyes on two screens at the same time, which is a little bit difficult to do. But to get everything uploaded for you guys and to start getting the weekly episodes of the Universe Mode uploaded uh, this week or sorry next week it will be. Then um, I've really got to try and just whiz through this as much as I possibly can. It's not easy like I said but it's definitely worth it as soon as we get up and running we get all these championship tournaments out of the way it'll become a lot easier and we can start doing our random matches once again we we stopped doing our random matches because it just came so much uh we're just doing so much of all these tournaments now that we've had to put them to one side but as soon as we get these tournaments out of the way these random matches will start up once again as Matt Seidel almost eliminates Jay Lethal from this one that could have been an interesting situation there by uh and Matt Seidel knocking out one of the favourites in this one. Of course, we've also got Rhino and Matt Hardy in here as well. Both of those guys work at the Attitude Era and Rhino work at NXT as well. So Rhino's really going to be everywhere in this universe mode. I think Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy will be working Global Force Wrestling as well. That's my plan anyway. Pinned by Seidel. And there goes Lethal. Matt Seidel eliminates one of the favourites, Jay Lethal. Wow. Well, that was a surprise, I must admit. But that makes it a lot more likely for my pick, uh, Tommaso Ciampa, to win this competition. Because, like I said, one of the big favourites has been knocked out very early on. There was a crunchy earlier on by Seidel, dropping his entire body weight across the upper chest and the shoulders of Jay Lethal. Not enough to defeat him, though. If they're slamming the head of uh, Matt Seidel against the mat there, and say there was there were several opportunities that I thought that this match was definitely going to be over in favour of of Lethal. I'm surprised Seidel has managed to has managed to pull this one off. He's done a very very good job. There was a Northern Light suplex. That was not enough for the victory though. But this was, this is uh, obviously one of Seidel's finishing manoeuvres. Also used by the Big Show, believe it or not. This was, the Big Show used to use that in the, in the Attitude. I think he actually used it in one of our Attitude Era tournaments. And there's the pin for the one, the two, and the three. And Matt Seidel is going on to our semi-finals here this evening. He's going to face the winner of Champa and Rhino. But yeah, one of our favourites, Jay Lethal, knocked out very early on. So we're going to have a very interesting tournament now. I thought Jay Lethal might have walked through this one, but evidently not. Matt Seidel looks like he could, though. And here is our second first round match, Tommaso Ciampa versus Rhino. And here we go. Two guys in this universe mode who are going to work both for um, the Ring of Honor as well as Global, as well as um, sorry, NXT, should I say. We're going to keep Tommaso Ciampa working Ring of Honor and NXT until it's confirmed that uh, Tommaso Ciampa has officially signed for WWE. Same with Johnny Gargano as well. We're going to see Gargano work for probably Global Force Wrestling until it's officially confirmed that he has signed for WWE. Nothing has been official yet. Uh, as soon as I get the all clear, then they'll definitely move permanently to only NXT. But for the moment, they're going to work both shows at the same time. Of course, Rhino is also going to be involved in the Attitude Era as well. Uh, I think we've only been given a suggestion earlier today, which I have written down. Um, I think I moved it around my desk because I didn't want to lose it. And now because I moved it around my desk, I seem to have lost it. Uh, where was it? Well, it was a suggestion from Jay from a match that he wanted to see in our very first episode of the Attitude Era uh, for the Hardcore Championship it was. And that involved, I think it was Rhino, RVD, um, of course the champion, who I'm not going to say because uh, 
I don't want to spoil that video and somebody else. I have got that piece of paper on my desk somewhere. I just, uh, I think I put it away so I didn't lose it. And by putting it away, I've lost it. So I will find it before we do them. Of course, I'm going to try and make every episode of every one of the first episodes we upload a little bit special compared to the rest. So in some cases, we're going to have a big number one contendership match. In some places, we're going to have a championship match. So it's, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting one. It really is. We'll have to tune in and see what we do. I think on Monday Night Raw, our very first episode, we're going to have a tag team championship match as the tag team champions take on Goldust and Stardust. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting one. So there's quite a few things we, we plan on doing. So it's going to really, really make it... It's going to really uh, throw some spanners in the work wherever we can. Just try and uh, keep it varied and try and stay away from dodgy WWE booking. Try and keep it fresh. Trying to push some wrestlers that don't often get a chance in the WWE. And that's the reason why we've done two world championships as well, really, because it really gives us the chance to really gives us the chance to um to showcase more stars in main event situations. So Maso Champa locking in that camel clutch on Rhino. And this is the first time we've seen Rhino so far. Like I say, he's gonna be heavily involved in our Attitude Era, our NXT, and in Ring of Honor as well. He's going to be part of the House of Truth, I believe, in Ring of Honor. I'm not quite sure. No, I think I've got that completely wrong. I think I was going to have Rhino as part of a stable, I think. I'm sure I have got a House of Truth stable set up with Jay Leaf and somebody else, but I can't remember who it was. I'll have to have a look, but maybe Rhino could be part of that. I see Rhino in Ring of Honor as more of a stable, mate. Whoa! What just happened there, Jay? Tommaso Ciampa just picked up a very quick win of a Rhino. Wow, that's a very quick win by Ciampa. And he's going on to face Matt Seidel in our semi-final here this evening. But I'm surprised he's managed to pick up the victory so quick of a Rhino. I really am. Well, that's going to put Ciampa in great position to go further on here this evening. So I'm just going to have to check on Rhino because I don't expect him to stay down that early on. But great win here from Tommaso Ciampa. Looks very good, this core, as well. And here's the third of the first round matches. It's Mike Bennett taking on Kenny Omega. And here we go. Bennett and Kenny Omega. Kingdom versus Bullet Club. Who's going to go through in this one? Kenny the cleaner. And again, it looks really good. The way they've allowed you to paint parts of the hair looks really good, especially with Kenny Omega as well. It does definitely suit him a bit more. Mike Bennett, uh, again, looks pretty good. Of course, going to be part of a pretty strong tag team alongside Matt Taven. It's going to be a bit more uh, heavily used this year as well, of course, in Global Force Wrestling as well as Ring of Honor. So we're going to see a lot of them. Big spine buster there by Mike Bennett. We've already seen two very fast matches here this evening. Could we see another one here? Of course, the winner of this one will face off against the winner of Matt Hardy versus Austin Aries as well. So my pick for this competition was Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, I think uh, Jay Lethal, Mike Bennett and Austin Aries all held the Ring of Honor Television Championship belt at some point in our universe mode in 2K15. So like I said, I'm looking to hopefully try and get somebody a little bit different. Not saying that if someone like Bennett or Aries wins, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm not going to be disappointed at all. They're both fantastic competitors. Brings him up to his feet. Kenny Omega on the outside now fighting. And of course, Omega's going to be heavily involved in uh, our Global Force Wrestling brand as well. He's going to be uh, fighting for the next-gen championship most of the time, I should imagine. But there's no reason why Kenny probably couldn't go for the Intercontinental Championship, tell the truth. As well, it's a, he's at that sort of level. I think he's a he's a very underrated wrestler. He's someone that not a lot of people know about because he spent such a long time in Japan. He did start his career in the American indie scene, working for the likes of Pro Wrestling Guerrilla and uh, companies like that. I think he's also been Ring of Honor every uh, quite rarely. I think in the past, but um, yeah, I think uh, he spent a lot of time in Japan, and I think a lot of people just sort of forgot about him. But he's showing now just how strong. He can be, of course, a part of the Bullet Club as well in NJPW. And I really wanted to bring all of Bullet Club over here to Ring of Honor. 
just to uh, really help us with some more storylines as well. I'm sort of thinking that if we did do a Bullet Club versus Kingdom feud, we could do it across both Ring of Honor and Global Force at the same time because they're working both rosters together. So it'd be, it would be a bit stupid to have uh, AJ Styles feuding with one person in Ring of Honor and one person on, uh, on Global Force at the same time thinking about it. So yeah, it would definitely make sense to, uh, to stretch the feud across both shows. Plus it means you get to create sort of twice the amount of storyline in one month, which is pretty good. Or as Bennett almost picks up the free count over Omega. Omega did a great job there of kicking out. It looked like he was going to be down and out. Bennett now with a neck breaker. Bennett taking Omega up onto his shoulders. Spins around onto his back and there's that stunner. This could be all. Kenny Omega could be out here. This could be another incredibly quick first round match. One, two. No, Kenny Omega kicks out. And like I said, we almost had a, another very, very fast first round match. The first two matches here this evening have been very, very quick. I don't know if they just sort of, uh, if they do tournaments like this where they, oh wow, just launch them up into the air, into the spear. One, two, and it is, you know, it is Kenny Omega eliminated. Mike Bennett is going through and another very, very first, very, very fast first round match. Sees Mike Bennett go through to the semi-finals. I've dropped that down on my list right now. Mike Bennett. There's that fall away slam by Bennett as well on Kenny Omega. Into the pin he went. Only enough for a two count in that point in time though. So he took him up onto the shoulders here and spun him around into that sort of package stunner. In for the pin, he went once again, but again, that was only for a two count. Very close to a three, though. And here you see him launching Omega against that far corner. Up into the air, then just caught him in that big spear. Referee looked repulsed by that, but it was enough to finish Kenny Omega off for the three count. Great move there by Mike Bennett. He is going through to the semi-finals. He is going to face the winner of our final first round match. Will it be Matt Hardy or Austin Aries? Either way, it's going to be a great match. And at this rate, this tournament's going to be a very, very short one compared to some of our others. And here we go with our last first round match of the evening. It's Matt Hardy versus Austin Aries. And here we go, Matt Hardy versus Austin Aries. For the chance to face off against Mike Bennett in our semi-final later on this evening. To fight it out for a chance in the final. For the Ring of Honor Television Championship. Very interesting one. You see a great bit of chain wrestling to start this one off. Austin Aries in control at this point in time. Of course, we did see Austin Aries as part of um, the Ring of Honor Heavyweight Championship title picture. And we also saw Matt Hardy as part of the Attitude Era Tag Team Championship tournament. So there's quite a lot going on. A lot of these guys are involved in several different, uh, several different things, really. And that's the sort of way we're trying to do the universe mode more this year. We want to try and have uh, people that are involved in more, more aspects of everything rather than just being involved in one thing. I think it just uh, it really, really going to help us have much bigger rosters and much more varied rosters as well. Lost in areas taking some early control at this point in time. And there's a great slam there by Aries. And I'm still wondering, uh, I think Aries is quite a strong member of this competition, but like I said, my, my shout for the competition was Tommaso Ciampa, but I'm now starting to think that yeah, it's, it's going to be very difficult for Ciampa, I, I must know.
Aries went for the belly to belly there, but there's a trip by Matt Hardy, taking Aries down. Matt Hardy now in that front headlock. Oh, backbreaker on Austin Aries, great move that is. And I said earlier, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet with Jeff Hardy. I'm thinking of having Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy both work in Global Force Wrestling, as they do in, uh, in TNA. That's a plan, of course. Matt Hardy's working here in Ring of Honor as well. Unsure whether we might bring Jeff Hardy into Ring of Honor at some point. Might bring him in as part of the storyline, maybe. Maybe Matt Hardy can get a chance uh, fighting for the championship at some point, and uh, Jeff Hardy could come back and help his brother out, maybe make the save when he gets attacked by various people. Maybe, maybe Matt Hardy versus AJ Styles, and uh, AJ brings in Bullet Club, and Matt Hardy brings in Jeff Hardy to help him out, and things like that. It's a possibility... So we can definitely think about doing. Well, maybe Matt Hardy could be part of a stable as well. I'm sure Matt Hardy was part of a stable at some point in Ring of Honor. I'm not quite sure what it was. My Ring of Honor knowledge from the last few years has not been fantastic, I must admit. Austin Aries makes his way up to the top river. Matt Hardy is back to his feet and catches Aries. Oh, but Aries with a boot to the face, creating some space, and there's a huge drop kick. Aries now slamming the arm of Matt Hardy into the mat. And could this one end up being a quick, pretty fast match as well here in the first round? Great reversal there by Matt Hardy. Saw he was going to get caught with that belly to belly, but just clapping around the ears of Austin Aries. Now into the pin. Matt Hardy goes one. It's only a one count. Matt Hardy with the heads is now just. Elbows the forehead of, of Austin Aries. Slamming his arm into the mat as well. Now big boots to the stomach. There's the leg drop. And like I say, I think Austin Aries did hold the uh, the Ring of Honor Television Championship for a very short amount of time in the Universe Mode 2K15. But he might not get a chance to hold this one. There's the side effect. One, two. No, Austin Aries kicks out. Yeah, it was only I think Austin. Uh, it was only Austin Aries and uh, Jay Lethal and Mike Bennett who held this belt. <laughs> Excuse me, you're on the way. Yeah, they're the only ones that held the belt in 2K15. So uh, Matt Hardy got planned here. Doesn't look like on the normal dives, does it? You gonna go for a suicide dive, maybe? Oh, he went to go through the ropes, and Austin Aries saw it coming. Great reversal! Oh, he just, I'm sure he just kicked him in the bollocks. Then, I'm sure he did. Yeah, I said um, Jay Lethal, Mike Bennett, and Austin Aries were the only ones to hold the television championship in 2K15. Uh, it's interesting though, because um, I think Jay Lethal held it for much longer than the rest. I think Jay Lethal was a three-time champion. In our, uh, in our universe mode of that belt. So uh, I think Austin Aries only held the belt for like three or four days as well. I think he won it on a pay-per-view, then lost it uh, on the same pay-per-view a few days after. Double foot stop by Austin Aries on Matt Hardy. Austin Aries finally goes to the pin. Probably should have gone a bit earlier. One, two. It's only a two count. Now Aries with them elbows across the shoulder. Bringing Matt Hardy back into the middle of the ring. So I'm still yawning. I don't know why. It's five o'clock in the evening. I only got out of bed four hours ago. So why am I... Uh... Yeah, I, I, I woke up pretty late today. <laughs> yeah. So that I, then again, I was up until half past four in the morning editing videos. So that's probably why. Because I'm trying to... Uh... Well, I'm a massive fan of Fallout 4, and obviously that came out this week as well. And I was always going to play a lot of it this week. That's the reason. That's the main reason why I had the week off. It wasn't to do with the with the 2K16 stuff. This was the main reason I had the week off. So I've been playing that quite a lot. But I've decided as I'm playing it anyway, I might as well record it, and that's what I've been doing. So I've been enjoying quite a bit of the uh, our Fallout 4. It's a really good game. I really recommend it to anybody. It really is addictive as well. Uh, obviously, I've been trying to do that alongside doing. Uh, these 2K16 videos, because of course these are uh, these 2K16 videos can burn me out after a while because of some of the frustrating things which happens, and I have to cut out and re-record and 
I think I don't really I don't think you guys realize just how much uh, times I have to re-record some of these matches to get a half decent finish sometimes. So yeah, I've been doing a quite a lot. You might have noticed I've uploaded quite a lot of four. I think I'm up to I think I probably uploaded by the time this has been uploaded, I probably would have uploaded about 16 episodes of Fallout 4. But I've already recorded another 16 or 17 episodes further ahead. And I'm not even scratching the surface of the game yet. It's such a massive, massive game. I think once I'm done with Fallout 4, I might go back and do a bit of Fallout 3. Uh, and Fallout New Vegas, I've never completed New Vegas. So that's something I might have a look at doing as well. Great Saito suplex there by Austin Aries. But Aries struggling to capitalise on it. And this match has gone a lot longer than some of the other ones here this evening. And you must think that's probably going to hold whoever wins this match back a little bit. Of course, Mike Bennett had a very, very uh, quick victory in his last match. So uh, Bennett must be rubbing his hands together, expecting his next match, the semi-final match, to be a bit easier. Great suplex there again by, by Austin Aries. Now pulling Matt Hardy into the middle of the ring. And there's the last Chantry submission hold. Beautiful submission hold. Really bridging into it. But like we've said on this game already, submissions are not very good. AI versus AI. You very rarely get a pinfall victory. And uh, I think if Austin Aries had gone for the brain buster, he probably would have won the match. But he went for the uh, submission hold. It's not quite panned out for him. This is a great submission hold, though. It really... Uh, it's a very athletic you have to be to really lock it in. Russian leg sweep there by Matt Hardy. And now Hardy just wrenching the leg of Austin Aries back. Hardy bringing Aries out of the corner in that snap there. Drop kick to the back as well. Matt Hardy spinning Austin Aries over. Hardy's going up top. What's he got planned here? It's a big splash. He holds a leg for the pin. One. Two. He does not get... See, that's a bit frustrating as well. I know that doesn't really mean much. The referee was so slow down there. And then he got back up before Austin Aries had even kicked out. I think that, yeah, because I've said before, there's a few things I think they need to do in this game just to make it flow a bit better I think but either way Matt Hardy throwing Austin Aries into that corner he's going to take him into the tree of woe yes he does and there's a real lack of moves in this tree of woe as well That's something that I think they uh, this is the only thing they can do in the tree of woe just push the foot across the face I'd like to see somebody come up with some different uh, some different animations, maybe a few punches or just sort of stomping the, the opponent in the tree of woe or even like a crossbody splash into the corner would be pretty good. But see Matt Hardy sets Austin Aries up. There's the twist of fate and now Austin Aries could be in serious danger here. Hardy brings Aries away from the ropes. In for the pin. One, two... Again, it's only a two count. The referee, again, very, very slow. Down to get into position. That's got to be uh, quite frustrating for Matt Hardy, who throws Austin Aries into that corner. Now Hardy taking Aries up. What has he got planned here? Oh, boot to the face by Aries on Hardy. And there's a big missile drop kick. The fans really love that one. Aries dropping the elbow across the knee of Matt Hardy. Bringing Hardy back up to his feet. Northern Light suplex. Rolls through. Takes Hardy up into this suplex as well. Great move by Austin Aries. This has surely got to be a free count. In for the pin he goes. One, two, three. And three. And this time the referee was quickly down. Makes you wonder if it's a dodgy referee here, doesn't it, really? 
But Alston Aries is going on to face Mike Bennett in our semi-final here this evening for the uh, for the Ring of Honor Television Championship. You see just a few of the highlights. This match was uh, this match almost lasted as long as all the other first round matches put together. Not Hardy with that pin there. That was only enough for a two count though. Maybe that was only a one count, wasn't it? See Matt Hardy bringing Austin Aries back up to his feet here, and this was the side effect. And we thought that could have been the victory, but that's slow. No, the referee was actually quick down that time into a three count. That was only a two, of course. This was the uh, this was the suicide dive attempt by Matt Hardy. But as you see, as he goes through, Austin Aries. Gets up and catches him with that punch. And here you see Austin Aries rolling through from that normal light suplex. Hoist him up into the vertical suplex. What a fantastic move that is. Something that will definitely be on Ricochet's move. So if we can get a hold of Ricochet, there is no Ricochets on the community creations at the moment. There is, of course, a, um, a Prince Puma, which I've got. And we'll be using that for Global Force Wrestling for now. But I would like to change it across to Ricochet when I can. Great victory here. But Austin Aries, can he make it two out of two here this evening? We'll have to find out a bit later on. But before we have a look at the semi-finals, let's have a quick check of the brackets. And as promised, here is a quick look at the brackets. So we've got Matt Seidel versus Tommaso Ciampa in our first semi-final. And Mike Bennett versus Austin Aries in our second semi-final. And here is that semi-final. Like I said, Matt Seidel versus Tommaso Ciampa for a chance to be in our final match here this evening to fight it out for the Ring of Honor Television Championship. And here we go. Who's going to be making it through to our final? We've got my pick for the competition, Tommaso Ciampa, taking on Matt Seidel. Be an interesting one. That's Tommaso Ciampa straightway going for a submission. There, it looks like uh, Matt Sido was able to break free. But again, Champa just slowing the match down, keeping Sido grounded. And I think he knows that is going to be uh, that's going to be the uh, the best way for Champa to win this one. I think just to try and keep Matt Sido grounded and try and keep the pace of this match pretty slow, as we know Matt Sido is a is a high flurry, likes to work at a very high pace. So Ciampa really needs to boss the pace of this one, I think. There's a neck breaker there by Sardell on Ciampa. Nine for the pin. One, two. So only a two count. Stamping on the knee. Matt Sardell there on Tommaso Ciampa. Great move there as well by Seidel. We may even see a shooting star press at some point in this one. Knee to the chest there by Seidel on Champa, Bringing Champa back up to his feet. And you know what? I think Matt Seidel might end up winning this one. He's absolutely dominating this match at this point in time. Sending Champa over the top. And then a big right hand to knock him down as well. Seidel... There's that reverse DDT on the outside. Referee's up to a free count. Seidel throws Champa back into the ring. Big boot to the side of the head of Champa there by Seidel. Matt Seidel back into the ring. Great reverse. Head buster. We went through this earlier. And that's enough, though. <clears throat> Matt Seidel was going on to the final. My pick for this competition, Tommaso Ciampa, has been knocked out in the very semi-final we're watching. And Matt Seidel gets a great chance at the Ring of Honor Television Championship here this evening. But who will he be facing 
It's Mike Bennett and Austin Aries next. We see just a few of the highlights. And there it was, that reverse head buster crusher thingy majig. Hooking the leg and holding it in for the pin. Matt Seidel doing very, very well here this evening. Going to be heavily involved in Global Force Wrestling as well. But he could be going across with that Ring of Honor Television Championship as well. And here is our second semi-final. It's Michael Bennett versus Austin Aries. And here we go. Who is going to join Matt Seidel in the final? Will it be AJ... It won't be AJ Styles, no. Will it be Austin Aries or will it be Michael Bennett? Because Austin Aries is signaling for something already. Showing he's not being paid by the hour as he catches Bennett. There's that big Pele kick. And maybe Austin Aries is not getting paid by the hour here. Four fifty. Hooks the leg for the pin. One, two. Oh, Mike Bennett kicks out. I thought, you know what? I thought that could have been it there. You know, I thought Austin Aries had a nice, quick victory there. Aries just clotheslines Mike Bennett over the top rope, and Aries looking for it. There's that suicide dive taken. Mike Bennett out and Austin Aries is really just destroying Mike Bennett here. German suplex as well. I'll tell you what, if it continues like this, then Austin Aries is going to walk out of here the Ring of Honor television champion easily. Great arm drag there by Mike Bennett. Now just stamping on the back of Austin Aries as well. Referee's up to a six and both guys back in the ring. Aries with a look for a German suplex, but Bennett fought out with that back elbow. And now Bennett is signaling for a GTS for some reason. Not quite sure why. Bennett now. Close lines. And there is that face buster. Bennett bringing Aries back up to his feet. And Bennett taking Aries up onto his shoulders. Up onto his back. And there's that package stunner. In for the pin. One. No. Austin Aries manages to grab a hold of the ropes. I don't know how the referee's seen that from there. I really don't. But either way, Austin Aries does a fantastic job of, uh, of managing to get out of that pinfall. Aries with the last chance for his submission hold. It's very difficult to hold this submission for too long. As shown there by Aries. Saito suplex by Aries as well. And then dropping him down. For, oh, gut buster actually, I didn't realise that. One, two... No, I thought the referee's hand hit the mount, mat three times then, but evidently not. There's that snap suplex underhook as well. Now Aries is lining Mike Bennett up. What does he have planned here? Aries takes Mike Bennett up and brings him down into the brain buster. Game, set, match. Austin Aries, surely. One, two, and three. There we go. Austin Aries victorious here. He is going on to face Matt Seidel in our main event match next for that Ring of Honor Television Championship. And that match could really go either way now.
see some of the highlights. There's that 450 splash earlier on. I thought Austin Aries could have won this match in the first few seconds. He really was dominating him. This is Austin Aries going for that suicide dive as well. Again, another great move through that middle rope, taking Bennett out. This is that gut buster as well by Austin Aries. You see him pulling Mike Bennett back into the middle of the ring there, going for the pin off that gut bust. That was only for a two count though. And here you see him lining Mike Bennett up for a potential brain buster. And that potential became a reality. There it was. In for the pin. One, two, and three. Great win here for Austin Aries. Like I said, he's going on to face Matt Sidell in our main event match very next for the Ring of Honor Television Championship. And like I just said, here it is. Matt Seidel versus Austin Aries for the Ring of Honor Television Championship. And here we go. We are underway. Austin Aries has probably gone through two longer matches this evening than Matt Seidel, so I think that might be in the hands of Seidel here. He might have a better chance of winning this one than... Uh, and people give him credit for. I think Austin Aries is probably on paper the stronger of the two. But like I said, Austin has uh, been involved in two very difficult matches here this evening already. Whereas Matt Sido seems to have had a bit of an easier time defeating Jay Lethal and Tommaso Ciampa. Huge super falcon arrow there by Austin Aries. Why has he not gone for the pin? Austin Aries really should have gone for the pin there. He could have had the victory. There's a big uppercut on Matt Seidel. And Seidel catches Aries into that neck breaker. Running forearm and never running forearm as well. There's the Pele kick. Great move there by and Matt Seidel. Seidel catches him over the top of that leg. This could be all. Seidel with a pin. One, two, and three and it is. We have for you our first Ring of Honor television champion of WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. It's going to be Matt Seidel. Great, great win this is for Seidel. Like I said just a minute ago, he's going to be in a much better situation I think than some of the other guys there's the pin great win as there you go see how happy he is referee hands him the belt ecstatic there he is your ring of honor television champion Matt Seidel as we have a final look at the brackets And there we are, there is final confirmation that Matt Seidel defeated Jay Lethal, Tommaso Ciampa and Austin Aries to become your first Ring of Honor television champion for this WWE 2K16 Universe mode. Now guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button uh, and uh, of course subscribe for a lot more. We'll be uploading a lot more WWE 2K16 footage for a very long time into the future now, I should imagine. Uh, I'm going to try my hardest to get all this up and running ready for, uh, for this week to start uploading the... Uh, the normal weekly shows but it's taken a hell of a lot longer than I ever planned uh, I'll definitely get one of everything uploaded by the end of next week by the end of next weekend should I say it's just whether we get all the championship tournaments done and uploaded uh, and get our first Monday Night Raw uploaded on Monday I'm not 100% sure but by the end of next weekend everything should be uploaded I might be a day or two behind but like I said by the end of next weekend everything should be up to date and we should be able to run through as we normally do well I think that's all I've got to tell you I think yeah 
I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>